Hi everyone, this is Killshot from 999 Gaming. I wanted to post a series of videos for Clash of Clans. These videos, I'm going to call them Most Heroic, because they are going to be the most heroic attacks from our war logs. So I know it's not as catchy as Clash with Ash or some of the other neat names out there, but hopefully it's practical and people can offer some feedback and hopefully learn from it. So in this first video, this is our number seven, uh, Mako pretty strong attacker he's going after their number five and you can see he um, starts out at the top gets his golems down and he immediately comes in with the whiz once the golems draw the initial cannon fire and the tower fire he's just trying to funnel that straight down uh, he's got the wall broken the CC troops are coming straight ahead so he's got a pretty nice layout here and and what he's trying to do is just clear out this path to get as close to the town hall as possible and he wants to get that there's the jump spell right over the top of the uh, CC area and once he clears out some of these defenses and his troops just gonna start to jump in the whole goal of this is get 50 percent and get the town hall down at the level of these wars uh, two-star attacks are gonna be really solid you can see there's a double freeze uh, buys him a little bit more time as Royals are over there just finishing off some things that they probably shouldn't be finishing off some resources but then they uh, wisen up go back over to the jump luckily they uh, do jump over to the middle. I've seen some where they just sit there and bang on a wall right beside it. So nice clean layout there. The town hall goes down. He's over 50% so everything is accomplished. And he's actually got a few troops left over in the bank in case he needed to uh, drop something for some cleanup duty. So very nice attack there. Although the uh, he won the battle we uh, did not win the war. This was a pretty sloppy war for us overall but you can't win them all. We do have 126 war wins, so we're pretty active in wars. Uh, what I'm going to do is now show you the most heroic attempt, uh, attack, I guess I should say, from the other team, Imperium. And this is on our number three, so this is their four. This is uh, Su Le Fu, so I don't know what that means. Maybe he's part Su Chef, part Kung Fu artist, so it's probably not somebody you want to mess with in the kitchen. Okay, uh, you can see he uh, drops his golems, draws some of the fire, and he's got a little bit more uh, wide range of attack here than Mako did. Uh, he's really branching out across the hole from the northwest all the way to the northeast. He's creating a nice little arc there. Uh, he's got the walls broken. Uh, he's in pretty good shape now. He's drawn some of the uh, Inferno fire, so he drops the freeze on that to buy himself a little bit more time to break the wall down. I'm sorry, jump the wall. Uh, there comes this uh, queen. She wisens up, stops attacking, and jumps the wall as well. And now he's just uh, he's got his 50%. He's in on the town hall. So really good attack. Differing strategies, different troops, but you know, the whole purpose is uh, to get those two stars on these TH10s. Uh, two stars on TH10s in these wars are, are really uh, beneficial. You will occasionally see some three-star attacks on TH10s, but they're uh, kind of few and far between. So for these most heroics, what uh, we're going to continue to do is some of them will be higher level attacks, but you'll also see sometimes if it's a TH7 or TH8 that does a really good job on a TH9 or TH10, uh, we're going to post those as well. So hopefully this adds some benefit to everyone watching. Uh, thanks for watching. Check out uh, Diabolic Clan on Clash of Clans. We're always looking for uh, good, loyal people, and we war 24-7. So thanks for watching again. Subscribe below, and there will be more videos to follow. Peace.